Hello, everyone. And when I say everyone, I'm talking about all my viewers. I don't know if you happen to notice, but I have over 57 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Way more than Beyonce. You know, I don't even care about those kinds of things. It's just that, you know, you start out and you hear about people becoming Internet sensations. But when it happens to you, it's a little overwhelming. But you know what? Forget about me and my YouTube superstardom. Let's make some art. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, let's put our hearts into it, shall we? Well, the best Valentine's Day cards, the ones that are a little bit personalized, that have a little bit of your identity in them. And if you're in Mrs. Goodhue's fourth grade class, well, your identity is you're the foxes. So we're going to make some fox Valentine's Day cards. And if you look inside your folder, you'll see that in the pocket of your folder, you have several pieces of construction paper. You have a small black piece that has three circles drawn on it. You'll see a tan piece of paper that has two hearts drawn on it. A white piece of paper with three hearts drawn on it, an orange piece of paper with three hearts, and then a white piece with one large heart. That's nine hearts. That's a lot of love coming your way. I hope you can handle it. And if you can, take your scissors and start cutting. And when you cut, try to cut right on the pencil line. Now, some artists have the habit of cutting just inside the pencil line or just outside the pencil line because they don't want those pencil lines to show. But if you do that, you somewhat alter the size of whatever it is that you're cutting. So, for example, if you're cutting out two hearts and you want them to be exactly the same size, and on one of the hearts you cut just inside the pencil line, and on the other heart you cut just outside the pencil line, well, they're not going to be the same size. So as you cut, try to make it so that your scissors are touching right in the middle of the pencil line. Also, when you cut out the large white heart, don't cut this line. If you cut this line, it's not going to be a heart anymore. So just cut all the way around. We're going to use this line a little bit later on to show us where to glue. But for now, cut out this heart. In fact, cut out the heart on all the pieces of construction paper. And when you've completed that, we'll get together again for the next step. If we've completed cutting out all of our hearts and circles, it's time to start gluing our pieces together. And I'm going to start with the medium sized heart that has the line drawn right down the middle. And I'm going to very carefully cut right along that pencil line. When I do, I'm going to put glue on the pencil side because that side is a little bit messier. And if I put glue there, when I flip it over, you won't see the pencil lines and it'll look a little bit neater. I'm going to take these two half hearts and I'm going to put them right near the bottom of my orange heart. And if you wait just a second, I'll show you exactly where I'm putting them. I'm putting them down so that there's a little bit of space in between them. And there's also a little bit of space along the bottom of my fox face. And if you notice, there's a little bit of space between those two half hearts. And there's a little bit of orange space right at the bottom. There's a space probably about the size of a pencil. And there's a space about the size of a pencil along the bottom. But there's a big orange space along the top. Go ahead now, take your white heart, cut it in half, and glue it onto your big orange heart. My next step is to take my two orange hearts and glue them onto the top of the fox's head. And I'm going to glue the hearts so that the points are facing up. just like a fox's ears. Go ahead and do that now. I 
I'm going to take my two tan colored hearts and I'm going to put glue on the pencil side again because I don't want the pencil lines to show and I'm going to put these brown hearts right on top of the fox's ears and I'm putting them down so that the tip of the brown heart is right on top of the tip of the orange heart. You can see how the tip of the brown heart is even with the tip of the orange heart. So there's quite a bit of orange down along the bottom, but the brown heart is right at the top of the ears. Go ahead and do that now. I'm now going to take my two white hearts and I'm going to put them right in the middle of the orange hearts because I want some of that brown on the ear to show. So I put glue on the pencil side of the orange heart and I glue them down so that they're pointing up, but I'm leaving some of that brown showing. So they, the tip of the white heart doesn't go all the way at the top like the brown did. It's pretty much in the middle of the large orange heart that made the outline of the fox's ear. So go ahead and do that now. The last step of my fox's face is to take my three black circles and glue them right on my fox's face. The larger black circle goes right at the bottom and the two smaller circles go about halfway down the fox's face. Maybe a little bit closer to the top. And when I do that, I've completed my, my uh, fox's face. So all I have to do is add the white heart to the back of it where I write my Valentine's message. Well, my fox face is now complete, but to turn this paper face into a Valentine's Day card, I need to take my white heart, write my Valentine's message somewhere below the line, any kind of message that you want to write, but keep it below this line because this pencil line shows you where to put the glue. I'm going to take my glue stick. I'm going to apply the glue above the pencil line. So the glue is completely filling up all this part of the heart above the pencil line. Now all I have to do is take my fox's face and put it on top of the card, press down, And now my Fox Valentine's Day card is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed making your Fox Valentine's Day card. I hope you share it with somebody special. I hope you look forward to our next project that we work on together, which is going to be after vacation. So until then, stay creative, stay safe, stay cougar strong. We'll see you soon.